Now, one of the last fugitives wanted in connection with the 1994 Rwandan genocide will appear in court in the next few hours. Fulgens Kayishima was arrested in South Africa on Thursday after 20 years on the run. He's accused of organising the killing of nearly 2,000 Tutsis who were sheltering in a church. Let's go to Famida Miller, who's live for us in Cape Town. So, before we find out what's going on in court today, give us a bit of context here, because it, it's taken over two decades to find this man. How was he tracked down in the end? Well, that search is also very frustrating for the United Nations, for the tribunal, uh, given that it said that South African authorities knew way back in 2018, at the very least, that Fulgens Kaishima was in South Africa, in Cape Town specifically, and he was arrested in Paul on Wednesday, as you'd mentioned. Now, they had tried to get South African authorities to cooperate um, and having them issue a warrant of arrest, and that was only done much later. But at the time that it was known that he was in South Africa, uh, the South African government at first said that he had uh, he was uh, he was in South Africa on a refugee status, and and for that reason they couldn't cooperate with that uh, request uh, by the tribunal to have him arrested. Uh, their meetings and negotiations continued for months, and the later on said that uh, South Africa did not have uh, any legal basis on which to cooperate with the tribunal. But following months and in fact years of negotiations and uh, pursuing uh, Fulgens Kayashima, he was then arrested. Um, and now that has been uh, accepted by the United Nations and uh, South African authorities, they say they're pleased uh, with coming this far. Uh, he's expected to appear in the court just behind us, uh, as you said, there in the coming hours. Uh, so what are we expecting next? So he appears in court and then will he eventually be extradited back to Rwanda? What's the process? So while he's facing charges of genocide and conspiracy to commit genocide, as well as extermination by the tribunal here in South Africa, he'll face a, a separate set uh, of charges, which includes that red notice by Interpol, as well as immigration laws, and most likely linked to him living in South Africa um, under a false name. That's how he was also found. And of course, this mysterious issue around refugee status. Uh, we accept, expect proceedings to begin in the coming hours, where he'll also remain remain under the custody of South African authorities before, as the authorities here say, he'll be extradited to Rwanda to face those genocide charges. Okay, thank you for that update. Vermeer Miller there for us outside the court in Cape Town.